Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be talking about a perfume and a designer one for today. Yves Saint Laurent or YSL if you want. We're gonna dive into Black Opium, which this one is a very popular fragrance. And I just wanna give a huge thank you to my friend Chloe Zadori, which has a YouTube channel. So go check her out um, after the video. She gave this for my birthday and I've been testing it out and I just love this perfume so much. So thank you so much to Chloe. I love you so much and let's dive into the video. So honestly, the first time that I smelled this fragrance, it was just, oh, I was so taken by it. It smelled just so good, like a creamy gourmet fragrance, but a sexy fragrance as well. And there's a lot of sweetness in it. The way that this fragrance makes me feel, it makes me feel at ease very confident and elevated in a very powerful way. And honestly, after trying it out, there's no wonder why it's so popular and a lot of women love it. I feel there's multiple ways that you can wear this fragrance in my opinion. To me, it is a very much of a night fragrance when you're going out, partying, everything, or just going on a date. When I go out with my boyfriend, I wear this all the time because it's so sexy. It wears so well also in cold weather. So when it is fall or winter, because of the warmth that there is in this fragrance and the sweetness of it, I feel like it's just the right fragrance for this time of the year. Talking about the notes, because it is an amber vanilla fragrance, there are some top notes that I love. There is orange blossom, pear, and also pink pepper. When I spray it on myself for the first time, the first thing that I smell is the orange blossom and the pear hitting my nose. And then the pink pepper just comes in and brings a lot of spiciness into this fragrance. It gives like a strong yet very lovely opening. I feel like the orange blossom and the pear really balances out the spiciness of the pink pepper. I would say that the top notes usually last on my skin for around 30 minutes to an hour. So it's pretty long considering for a fragrance. I can still smell them in the first 30 minutes to an hour depending on what I spray spray it on if I spray it on my clothes or if I spray it on my skin directly. And then after these minutes, it goes gradually into the middle notes, which the middle notes are definitely my favorites out of this perfume because there is coffee in there. And I was taken back because coffee, I love my coffee. It is my morning, evening, you know, lunch ritual. Like I have coffee like 24 seven in me. Like I don't drink water. I just drink coffee. No, drink your water, girl. But anyways, this I love. I love this in a coffee in the morning. So I was just kind of like not sure in a fragrance what it would smell like, but honestly, I just love it so much. It's one of those things that it brings warmth. It brings of love for this perfume because of the coffee note in it. And then there's jasmine, which adds a little bit of florals in there. And jasmine is one of those ingredients that I love. It is one of my favorite ingredients in perfume. I don't smell it that much to be honest, but it just adds that little oomph in the perfume. And then you have some bitter, al bitter almond in it. So when the perfume dries down a little bit more, then I can smell it. It is in the background. I don't smell it that much, but it does blend very, very well with everything around it. And it just makes the perfume elevated super nice by adding some depth and warmth. And it just makes it like a fall perfume because of these ingredients, just so yummy. And then you got some licorice, which uh, licorice, I don't like eating it at all. It's like, ugh. the licorice, honestly, it just adds a lot of sweetness to the perfume. It just fits so well. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't like the perfume. And then you have the base notes in this perfume, which blends it all out together. It is a yummy, sexy perfume because of the vanilla note that you have in the Black Opium from YSL. And vanilla is one of those notes that is so sexy, attracts, you know, good energy and it just makes you feel so confident and powerful. It gives a little gourmet aspect of the perfume as well. And then you have patchouli. To me, patchouli smells kind of fresh and woody in a way. It says that it's a spicy kind of note, but I feel feel like it's spicy, fresh, and woody in my opinion. With the cashmere wood and the cedar in this perfume, it kind of makes it a dry, woody base, which complements with the gourmet aspect of the other notes, which you don't want to have too much of the same thing. So having a dry base really amplifies the rest of the notes and it just smells so good. Everything is elevated in this perfume and I can understand why it is so popular. And when I'm wearing it, I just feel so beautiful. There is a 
certain heaviness to this perfume. It's a really, really good way. The silage, I would say on this fragrance is pretty good depending on the amount of sprays that you put on yourself. So if you put one spray, you're gonna have a very subtle yet sexy perfume. So it's not gonna silage behind you. But if you want something strong, make um, an appearance, make an entrance, put like three to five sprays, then you're gonna smell it and it's gonna be like, ooh, enveloping you like it's part of you and on me it has a pretty good longevity on my skin it definitely lasts all day like until i take a shower but on clothes girl if i spray it on my clothes it is there days on end if i don't wash it like it does not get removed whatsoever so on me with my experience on this perfume. It just lasts so long, which is amazing because I don't have to reapply during the day. I don't have to, you know, waste the perfume and like apply too many sprays. I love when a perfume lasts me very, very long. Let's just talk about the packaging a little bit because obviously Chloe gave it to me as a present. She gave me the whole box. I was like, wow so fancy i kept the box obviously girl i'm gonna put this on my vanity or somewhere like i know i'm crazy you know keeping designer boxes you know like so tacky but honestly this one is just it's almost like a book you can put somewhere you know like it's just very cute it's not too over the top it is classic very nice and then obviously there was the little thingies in there which you can't really see. And it's so nice. Anyways, and the box has black, it's shiny. There's some rose gold for some glamour in there. The bottle by itself, it is the, the bottle. The classic black opium bottle with the cap, the black bottle that looks like leather because of this right here. And the sequins in here just adds a lot of glamour and everything. So this packaging was inspired and they made this fragrance because they wanted to make a rock and roll glamour type of fragrance. They wanted to highlight the dark and the mysterious of YSL. So that's why I think it's so popular because it is like an opposite of what they have in their brand. So it's, it's quite nice. So I would definitely recommend this perfume. I love it so much. I've heard a lot of good things about this perfume and now that I've tried it, it is addictive. Like it just smells so good but if you love vanilla fragrances if you love sexy gourmet fragrances you're gonna love this one but if you like more a clean fresh kind of fragrance you might not like this one and there's some ingredients in there if you really hate the note you might not like the perfume because it's gonna maybe stick out to you so before buying i always recommend to go in store trying it out don't smell any other fragrances because that's gonna remove your experience from the fragrance but if you want to buy one definitely try it out and i hope that you're gonna enjoy it as much as I do because this one is definitely my fave at the moment. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like a black opium make sure to tell me down below and also to like this video because you have to you know some engagement you know. <laughs> so anyways make sure to subscribe as well to my channel for some content every single week on the beauty lifestyle reviews and a whole lot more. So I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye guys!